when Katrina hit, it kind of like threw everything up in the air and made me question what kind of food I wanted to cook. I was like 25 years old. I was really thinking about food as a way um, to kind of express my artistic side and I kept thinking that, that I was going to invent some kind of cuisine that I would become known for. Katrina really like brought me back down to earth and, and made me realize that I just needed to cook food that made people feel good and that made people happy, which is the reason that I started cooking in the first place. So I moved to Italy and began apprenticing out there. I lived uh, above uh, a restaurant. Um, my bed was right next to the dough mixer. So I would have to go and make pizza dough. And as I was making the pizza dough, all the flour would come out of the mixer and land on my bed. Uh, and so like that was kind of my uh, first week. Italy is just a really special place and I, and I love the family culture out there and how you don't just become a cook in a restaurant, you join the family. They really took me under their wing and, and showed me how to cook really classic Italian food. One of the things that I remember most vividly about my time in Italy was after service at the end of the night, we would go out with the family and we would walk through the piazza. We would always stop by a gelateria. But one thing that I saw when I was out there that I would never seen before was gelato con brioche, which was gelato that was served in an actual croissant or in a brioche bun, and you ate it like an ice cream sandwich. I just fell in love with that. It brings back these really great vivid memories that I love to share with people whenever I make the dish. After living in Italy, I realized how important it was that food had a tradition and a story to it, where it came from, how it was brought together, what parts of the world it's traveled through to become what it is. And as I've learned those things, I feel more connected to the food that I cook. A dish like the gelato con brioche, it sounds like a no-brainer. You put some ice cream or you put some frozen dessert in between two pieces of really delicious bread, uh, maybe with some bananas and some caramel, and it's gonna be great. But there's more to it than that. It, it's more than just tasting good. It's also the way that I connected with my restaurant family after work. Food can help us work through the tough, the tough things that are going on in the world because it really does bring people together and it gets people in front of each other in a way that we can talk. What is it that makes us uh, who we are? Is it so emotionally driven? Everyone has stories about food that is important to them. I'm able to kind of use food to make connections regularly about things that have nothing to do with food. And through eating together at a table, I can tell you stories about my family, I can tell you about places I've been around the world. I can tell you about some of the good things and some of the bad things that I've had to go through and what food meant to me at that point. That's great.